according to me, these Palestinians, for the last several decades, they are doing farz e They are protecting the third holiest site of Islam. They are protecting the Masjid al-Aqsa. What should we Muslims do? Time will not permit me to speak for long. I will just mention a few important points in brief. I will mention 13 points in brief what the Muslims should do. Of which the first seven any Muslim can do and should do. And the remaining all will not be possible but those who Allah has given the position they can do. Number one, the least that any Muslim can do and should do is do du'as for the Palestinians and for Masjid Aqsa. I feel it is a fard for every Muslim that they should pray for our Palestinian brothers and sisters. We should pray for their safety. We should pray for the victory. We should pray that may Allah give them sabr. We should pray that those Palestinians who have been martyred Allah should give them the highest level in Jannah of Firdaus. And my suggestion would be, the best time to pray for our Palestinian brothers would be in Tahajjud. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends in the last one third of night. And if you do dua in sujood, in the Tahajjud Salah, that would be the best. Those of us Muslims who regularly get up for Tahajjud, they should pray. And those who are not used to getting up, at least this can be an excuse or an initiative for you to see to it that you get up in the last one third of night and pray tahajjud salah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in that salah, in sujood, you make duas for our Palestinian brothers and sisters, for their safety, for their security, for their sabr, for their victory to grant Jannah to those who have been martyred. You may never know that because of this, tomorrow it may become your habit that you get up for Tajjud Salah every night. And this is the best time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answers the prayers of the believers. And he says, who is there would like to ask and I will answer your prayer. The least a Muslim can do is do dua for our Muslim brothers and sisters in Palestine. Number two, you should make the situation aware on the social media. The atrocities that are done by the Israelis on the Palestinians, the violation of human rights, the violation of the international law that is being done, we should make on our social media, whether it be on the Facebook, whether it be on the Instagram, on the Twitter, on WhatsApp. We should make the world aware of the atrocities done by the Israelis on the innocent Palestinians. Number three, we should spread the literature, whether it be pamphlets, whether it be books, whether it be e-books, on this issue so that the world is aware of what is happening in Palestine. Number four, we should make publicity whether on billboards, whether on buildings, hoardings, whether it be on buses, on different venues, so that you make the people aware in your locality, in your city, in your country about the atrocities done on our Palestinian brothers and sisters by the Israeli forces. Number five, there should be peaceful protests all over the world by the Muslims. But see to it, that these protests are peaceful and see to it that if you are living in a non-Muslim country, see to it that you follow the law of the country, take permission, do protests, see to it you give a memorandum to the Israeli High Commission or to the embassy if it's there in the country, if you are living in a non-Muslim country. The sixth is that we Muslims as a whole throughout the world should boycott all Israeli products. We should boycott consuming all Israeli products 
surely the 25% of the world population if we boycott 100% of the Israeli products it will be surely a reminder to Israelis and it will be a good lesson to them number seven we should contribute financially whatever we can and as I've always said in many of my talks before that when you contribute see to it that you contribute besides your fard zakat that you have to give see to it that you donate a percentage of your income your monthly income whether it be 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent as much as you do it is better for charity and from this amount of charity that you commit from your monthly profit see to it that you allocate a portion for palestine for our muslim brothers and sisters in palestine maybe for building hospitals maybe for building schools maybe for building their homes maybe for the food for various causes we should see to it that we contribute whatever we can and always allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't look at the amount he looks at what percentage of donation you have given from the niyama Allah has given you. And I said that before, that if a person who is earning a thousand dollar a month, if he donates hundred dollar, he will get more ajar than a person who earns a billion dollar and he donates only a million dollar. Because one million dollar from a billion dollar is 0.1%. Where hundred dollar from a thousand dollar is 10%. So the person who earns only a thousand dollar and donates hundred dollar will get hundred times more sawab, more blessings as compared to a person who earns a billion dollar and donates only a million dollar. So Allah will look at the percentage of what you have that you donate, not at the amount. So let us make a commitment that we donate a percentage of our income for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from this we allocate a share for the Palestinians. Number eight, these first seven points that I mentioned, each and every Muslim can do. Every common Muslim can do this and he should do this. The least we can do for the cause of our Muslim brothers and sisters in Palestine. The remaining points some can do, a few can do, a handful can do depending upon whom Allah has given capacity. Point number eight is that all those who have contacts in the mainstream media or influential or own mainstream medias, they should see to it that they condemn the atrocities done by the Israelis on Palestine in the mainstream media. For example, because we have control over Peace TV and Alhamdulillah, as you may be aware, Peace TV has a reach of 150 to 200 million viewers. At this present time, I am sure tens of millions of people all over the world will be watching this program. They are watching on the Facebook, on the YouTube, and several million more are watching on the social media. So we should see to it that whatever capacity Allah has given you, see to it that this is publicized on the mainstream media. Point number nine. We should see to it that we have specialized organizations which are expert in the law so that we can file legal cases in the International Court of Law against Israel. Point number 10. There should be diplomatic protests. See to it that the Muslims protest on a diplomatic level to the authorities. And if there are embassies or consulates in the country, see to it they give a letter to the ambassador against the atrocities done by the Israeli government on the Palestinians. Number 11, if the Muslims can get together and we have a trade boycott with Israel, a total trade boycott, see to it that all the Muslims in the world, not only individually do we boycott the goods, all the Muslim countries today, there are 57 Muslim majority countries in the world. We have a trade boycott and should not in any way deal with any goods or in any way whether diplomatic with Israel. Number 12, we should severe diplomatic relationship. And Alhamdulillah, majority of the Muslim majority countries in the world, they have already severed diplomatic relationship with Israel. 
the 13th point that all the Muslims in the world, we should unite. All the countries in the world, we should unite. And as Allah says in the Great Quran, in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 103, Allah says, wa wa la Hold strongly all together to the rope of Allah, that's the glorious Quran and Hadith, and be not divided. We Muslims should be united. The number one uniting factor for the Muslims is the glorious Quran and the Sahih Hadith. If all the Muslim countries, if they unite, and we unitedly stand for our innocent brothers and sisters in Palestine, and we pray for them, inshallah, we will be more effective. Irrespective, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us. He does not require you and me the rubbish that we are. He alone is sufficient. And Allah promises in the Quran that He will surely teach the zalim a lesson. Allah also says in the Quran that He gives them rope to go to and fro. He is just giving them time. So I request our Muslim brothers and sisters throughout the world that implement on the few suggestions that I've given and see to it that we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He keep our Palestinian Muslims safe. May He give them sabr. May He give them victory. May He give the highest level of Jannah of Firdos to the martyrs of Palestine. And we'd like to thank from the bottom of the heart each and every Muslim. I thank on behalf of the Muslim Ummah, the Palestinians, for doing a Fardi Kifaya for protecting the third holiest site of the Muslims. We thank you and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he reward all the Palestinians, inshallah, with Janita Firdos.